Hello, uh, hello, and welcome to another Unruh's Unit of the Week. And today we're taking a look at the Bantam Reconnaissance Jeep available to the 4th Armored Division. The really Jeep really requires no introduction. It's the iconic American car of the Second World War. But for our case, one of the roles that the really Jeep was used for was in reconnaissance. And they found that in the reconnaissance role, it was rather unadvantageous yet it was an armored and so they decided hey let's slap some armor on this bad boy so they put some armor plate in front of the engine and around the driver slash passenger compartment on the front and side just for a little bit extra small arms protection now why is this called the bantam well it is actually a reason why it's called the bantam you know i don't get why this unit is called the bantam essentially bantam is the shortened version of american bantam which was the company that originally designed the release jeep you know eventually ford and release overland would be the ones who'd see it to production so that's why the bantam is called the bantam but why this is called the Bantam and the other things are called the Bantam, I'm, I'm not really sure. I guess it's just a funny nickname that Eugene like. Because the official name for this vehicle is the quarter ton 4x4 armored truck. And that doesn't really have much of a ring to it now, does it? In game, the Bantam is a 40 point reconnaissance vehicle available exclusively in A phase, exclusively to the 4th armored division. And it has one weapon. The weapon is a 50 caliber machine gun, 6 HG, 600 rounds of ammo, 800 meter range. It's essentially just your standard vehicle base 50 cal. The infantry base 50 cals have 9 HD compared to the vehicle 6, but still it's 50 cal, right? it's, it's 50 cal. I like 50 cals, you like 50 cals. I think everyone in the world likes 50 cals, considering how many militaries use it. So it's a good gun. Pop down to the Miss Colonia stats, one frontal armor, one outside, none in the back here, so be careful back here, and it is an open top vehicle. Medium stealth, a speed of 33 km off road, 95 km on the road, and high optics capability. In battle, the Bantam's nice. It's not the greatest thing in the world, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's just a nice vehicle. It has a little niche use. It's not the best thing to be charging on the front lines in the battlefield, as it only has one armor, meaning that anything can penetrate you, and heck, even small arms can do a bit of damage if they shoot at you enough. But that one armor, compared to a no armored 50 cal jeep, is a pretty big deal, as if a Panzer deer or Fouchager jumps on you, you do have a chance of firing back and surviving, as you still do have a 50 cal on top. And you, you don't mess with a 50 caliber machine gun. 50 caliber machine gun will mess up any soft target today. The Bantams aren't as good as when 4th Armored first came out, thank god, because Bantams were a bit cheaper. But they're still nice to have on the auxiliary flanks, you know, just to help some of your infantry units push just somewhere where you're not going to be fighting pretty much anything armored, AT guns, etc. It's just nice. I have fun using the Bantams. I usually just bring one card rough. I find it to be more than enough and get, you know, the more reliable cavalry scouts. But the Bantam is just, it's just nice. It's cool. It has a funny name. And yeah, that's, that's really it. It's just a decent little recon vehicle. It's better than the goddamn BMW bike. And uh, well, I'm going to leave it off for yeah. This has been another Rangaroo shooting of the week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And usual, please just take it easy.